Summer Teacher 7, Mr. Barry here. Today I'm going to show you how to edit images using a variety of different software right on your Chromebook. So let's get started with the lesson. Hey, here I am in my Chromebook. Now I received comments in my other videos stating that I go too fast through my steps and I've actually received uh, comments in the exact same video saying that I go too slow. So I'm going to show you how you can actually control my speed by using your keyboard right on your computer there. Now if you press the L, it will jump ahead by 10 seconds. So you'll be skipping ahead if I am going too slow. You can press the K to pause me and uh, just hit it again and you'll unpause it there. And you can also press the J key to go back 10 seconds and then that way you can hear me repeating the same step and that way you can follow along a little bit easier. Press the M key, it will mute me. So uh, hit the M key again and then that will restore the, uh, the sound. You can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard. Your left and right, they will also jump ahead, but they only jump ahead by five seconds. And then your up and down arrow keys, well they will increase or decrease my volume. Now another thing that we can do too is if you're actually using this on a Chromebook you can actually press the Alt and then the bracket key and you can actually rearrange your work on your screen so that you can have on one side of the screen you can see you can have your work and then on the other side of the screen you can have the video playing so you can have actually both working at the same time like I have here. Again that's the Alt bracket and then you simply move the windows around your screen with your mouse and you can do that you can even do that with your touch screen but I usually use a mouse to do that it's a little bit easier and uh, that really makes things go a little bit quicker for you so you can have the video on one side and the lesson on the other or the, your work on the other side and have everything done quickly like that so now the very first image editor that I'm going to show you is if we go right here to your Google Photos. To find Google Photos you just simply go up to your URL address box type in photos and it should take you there. So if I just go into a new tab type in PH hit the enter key boom it loads my Google Photos. So it's rather easy to find. Now once you're there it will load up your Google Photos that you've been saving. Let's say that I wanted to go in and edit one of these images well, I could go ahead and just click on this dog here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three dots and click on download. So there's two different ways to edit images. And so I'm going to save this. And it comes down here. Now I'm going to click on show and folder. And I'm going to double click on the dog. And I'm going to use the image editor that's found right within your Chromebook. You don't have to be online to use this editor. Click on the little pencil here. And this is for very simple edits. You can very easily crop the image. So if I didn't want some of this blanket, I can move this around like this. Click on done and then it crops off that part of the blanket that I don't need. There's other things I can do too such as I can brighten, darken, I can do other things here such as even rotate the image but I won't be doing that I'm going to show you another thing too to edit this okay so that's the editor that's found within your Chromebook now let's say that you want to edit an image that's out on Google Photos simply click on that photo that you want to edit and then click on right here this is called the editor you can change different things with the colors. So if I want to go click on auto, you know it's a little bit brighter now. Next, if you did want to crop something off, click on the cropping tool and then just go in and you can zoom in on your subject there. Click on done and it saves it there. Now there's other things I can do. If you click here, you can actually change your amount of light, color, and even your pop, which is your contrast. So notice how your contrast increases if you move to the right. If you move this to the left, it decreases your contrast. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Now if you're happy with everything and you're 
you're satisfied with changes, click on done and it saves that changes right into your Google Photos. There we go. Now let's say that you want to do more intensive editing with this image. What you're going to need to do is you need to download this image. You can give it a name, so I'll call it Tesla Model 3. Click on save and it saves that image right onto your hard drive. Now that we've saved the image down onto the storage of the Chromebook, I'm going to open up a new tab here. So you go out and you click on the little plus and that will open up a new blank tab here. So here we go, new tab. And in the URL box, at the box at the very top, type in facepixelizer.com as I've done here. And they'll load up the Face Pixelizer app. Now this is a really simple one that we can use. Open up the Files app, as I've done there. And then locate your image. And they'll probably be down in the Downloads folder. You need to click once on the Tesla image that you have and then drag and drop the image and drop it right there and there it loads. Now I'm going to manually change or blur something on this object or this image. So I'm going to go blur and I'm going to highlight an area such as my license plate. And there you go. Now you can see that's blurred. You can blur things, you can pixelize, or even put a solid patch over things that you don't want to be seen. Now once you've done that, if you go down to the bottom of this, it says Save Image. Go ahead and click on Save Image, and it'll give it the name Tesla Model 3 Censored. So it'll add the word Censor to your original name click on save and now you've done the changes there with that website. Now some have asked me how secure is this website? Well if you notice there's a lock right in front of the name here. So that padlock if you click it you see other information that's about this website and also whenever you have the padlock that's closed all of your data, your images, that type of thing, they're being scrambled and encrypted between you and the server so basically everything is private. The next one I'm going to show you is called Lunapic. So I'm going to type in Luna and there's Lunapic. Lunapic will open up here. Click on Upload to upload your image. And then you have to click on Choose File. So I'm going to choose the Tesla Model 3 censored here. Click on Open. And now I have loaded my image. Now again, we see the padlock up here in the URL address box, so it is being secure. Okay, now the way Lunapic is set up, you'll notice that you have your tools over here on the left hand side and they give their name. So a cropping tool simply means that if you click it, it allows you to crop off certain areas. So if you highlight a certain area like I'm doing here, it will crop off everything that's not in the center of this square here. So now I'm going to click on Crop and it cropped off the area that was on this side. I can add text, so if I wanted to add text, I'd click there and then type in my text that I wanted. I can cut out certain things in the image. I can have a drawing tool, zoom in, and I have many other tools here, but they're all labeled for us. Now with Lunapic, what I actually like doing the most is using these art filters that we have here. So I'm gonna to go to Famous Artworks, and click it and now it'll load all the different styles of the artworks that we have there. So as you can see there's many different filters or ways it can redraw our image. I'm going to choose sketch 4 and there we go so it made it into like a drawing. So that's one way. If you don't like the effect you can actually change the amount that is shown on the image anywhere from 0 to 100 and if you just don't like it at all and want to try something else, we'll click on undo this effect. That's easy enough. Go back to art and then let's choose fairy. And there it goes. And it, so it paints it into that way there. Again, if you don't like that, click on undo this effect. Go back to famous artworks. And let's try red blush. So there we go, now that's done in the red blush filter. So if you like this image, 
just go ahead and right click that image and then choose Save Image As by selecting it. Your Files app will open up. You can give it a name if you want to or just leave it as it is. Click on Save and it saves it into your drive. Now there are many more features and tools that really you can have a lot of fun just hours and hours playing with this one tool and it's actually quite enjoyable. I've spent days on this changing a lot of my images around and I actually use them in my videos. But I'll let you discover all the wonderful features that this app has and I do like it very much. Okay, now the next one I want to use is Pixlr. Now to find Pixlr, all you have to do is just type in pixlr.com in your URL address box. Again, you notice that it does have a lock there in the front. That means that the images that you do upload, they're encrypted, so only you and the server can see or work with those images, which basically keeps your privacy there. I'm going to click on Advanced Pixlr E, and there's two different options here we can actually open an image that's been saved onto your computer or you can load a URL. Well, to load a URL you have to know the address or the web address of a particular image and you copy and paste that into this dialog box. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open the image. So I'm going to click on open image and you get your file apps opened. I'm going to choose this image here and then I'm going to click on open and then we're going to choose which size I want. I'm going to go original. There's my image. Now I can do a lot of different things with this image. This tool right here is the cropping tool. So if I click on crop and then I highlight a certain area such as that and then I go to image and then I say crop then it basically it cuts off all of this other area of the blanket and I only see my puppy dog there. Now I do have other things I can do such as I can liquefy. So if I wanted to liquefy something in here I can make this, I can zoom in a little bit here to do this and I can liquefy part of the image. So if I need to move this out a little bit I can drag this blanket out other things you can actually do with this is you can click on enlarge and if I wanted to change something in this image and, and increase its size so that will increase or enlarge whatever you're clicking on this is to shrink it this is to scroll to the right scroll to the left and so you have a lot of fun tools to use up here now let's say that you're working with an image here and you didn't want this black area here just click on the band-aid and then click on the area that you want to take out and let's see if it works there we go you notice now I no longer have that black spot on my puppy dog here so take one out you just again click on the band-aid and then you click on the spot that you want to remove and it's that easy to remove spots there you go. Now that's the band-aid here. Other things you can actually clone. So if I wanted to clone something, I click on the clone and then choose an area and then choose the new area and you'll paint that spot in the new area. So now notice I've cloned this spot into two places. This Pixlr is very easy to use and I recommend that you just play around with these tools and give yourself some time because you notice that if you if you just float your mouse on the tool it actually will give you a the name and give you a definition of what this tool actually does. So it's pretty easy to use and uh, to get started again you just have to upload your images that you're using. Now, let's say that you are happy with this image. You can go in and go to File, and you can click on Save, and then you can save this image. Now, you can save it here online, or you can actually download it onto your computer. So I'm gonna click on Download, and it downloads that image right onto my Chromebook. So there we go, you click on Save, 
and it's saved onto your Chromebook. So there you have it. Now you know some of the websites and applications I use to edit images right on my Chromebook. Hey, please give this video a thumbs up as I've been working on it all day long making sure it's just perfect. And comment down below because I love to read your comments. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And you can also enjoy some of my other videos which are also on my Summer Teacher channel. Thank you again and bye bye.